What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. Guys, one of my favorite things about running the Time Teller shop is obviously playing with all the various vintage watches and a question I get all the time is about which companies I've become very partial to. Are there any vintage watchmakers that I should really look for? Are there any that I really like, any that I really dislike? And the truth is, Waltham Watch Company has easily become one of my favorite vintage watchmakers. And uh, when you look at their history, it kind of begs the question, what happened to Waltham? It's 2.07 p.m., let's get down to business. Alright, Waltham Watch Company founded in 1850 in Waltham, Massachusetts or Waltham, I've heard it pronounced multiple ways, not too far away from where I grew up in New England. Uh, if you don't know the company to which I am referring, you might know it by one of their millions of other names. American Orology Company, Warren Manufacturing Company, Boston Watch Company, Appleton Tracy and Company, American Watch Company, American Waltham Watch Company, Waltham Watch Company, again, Waltham Precision Instruments Company, Waltham International SA Switzerland, Hallmark Watch Company, Waltham Watch Company, Delaware. I don't know. Now officially on paper, Waltham Watch Company went defunct sometime in 1957, but because of all their various iterations and self reinventions, some form of Waltham Watch Company was producing watches well into the 1970s. But what happened after the 1960s and 1970s? Because there are watches named Waltham that are still being produced today. Well, these are not the Waltham watches we know and love. Technically, it is still the same company, uh, but I do not know these watches. These are not the Waltham watches we're looking for. I was trying to do a uh, Star Wars reference. You know what? Okay. But I'm interested, so let's go ahead and explore these newer Waltham watches. So here it says Waltham Swiss made watches, and what's interesting is they have a dedicated section for their own history. So they are referencing their roots in the 1800s on, and yeah, again, in big letters here it says the first industrial mechanical watch and clock manufacturer. So they are paying homage to their roots as the original, uh, what was it, American Orology Company or something. But yeah, when we look at the current Waltham catalog, boy, uh, these are not the watches that we knew and loved. Uh, what's also interesting is that when we go to find uh, the dealer section, if we click the Waltham shop section, it simply takes us to a Chrono 24 page. So clearly, um, if they are still selling watches, it's not a huge operation. When we go to the collection menu on their website, uh, we can see some Aero Naval AN01, Aero Naval XA, the Aero Naval CDI, and the Aero Naval ETC. Uh, if we click these watches, we can see they are very big, chunky, kind of angular, integrated strap sports watches, kind of, I don't know, trying to, I don't want to say bite off the whole style of the AP Royal Oak and you know the GP uh, and let's see what else is going on the Bell and Ross and uh, just every other luxury sports watch that has an integrated strap right now because that's the new thing and every watch company needs to make a watch like that and it's all really boring and nothing's original anymore and it's just really depressing and that's why people are kind of falling out of love with the watch collecting hobby because all these luxury brands just keep copying each other and nothing is original again I keep repeating myself because I'm actually really depressed about this. I'm not, but I'm not gonna say that. What I'm gonna say is this is just a big chunky sports watch. Really, uh, the only variants here uh, with this Aeronaval AN01 are the strap colors and uh, the index and second hand colors. And then the tip of the minute hand is also a different color based upon which one you pick. As we look a little further, and again, uh, this is not the best website, it's not very easy to get the information, but uh, it is a ETA automatic, it looks like an ETA 28242. And then we can see it is a 43 millimeter case, stainless steel, anti-reflective sapphire coating, threaded crown with a 100 meter water resistance rating. So by all metrics, this is, you know, a, a functional watch. Now, 
Is it my cup of tea? Absolutely not. I think I'll stick to the vintage ones. But I do kind of want to take a peek at some of their other offerings. Yeah, see, the Aero Naval XA seems to be more of the same, kind of the exact same case design. All that's different is that it seems to have, I guess, a small second subdial at the 12 o'clock. Very unique. The Waltham Aeronaval CDI is their GMT offering, so of course you're getting an extra hand there. These are not good looking watches in my opinion. I know these are like right up some of your alleys and that's perfectly fine. The first thing I think of when I see this initially is like, okay, Royal Oak sports watch, uh, angular case integrated strap. I'm not gonna say it's a copy of a Royal Oak, uh, but then the next thing I think of when I see these watches is like bull of a precisionist. Uh. And then finally, the Aeronaval ETC Black Matter, as they call it, and there are a few other options here. Uh, it's just their chronograph offering. Again, I don't really like these watches. These are big and chunky and way too futuristic for my taste. You can call me a prude. You can call me an old man. That's perfectly fine. I've been called everything in the book, but yeah, I just, I don't really like these watches. Now, thankfully, there are a plethora of vintage Walthams we can choose from on the vintage market. You just gotta kinda know what you're looking for. You gotta just poke your nose around a bit, look around, overturn some rocks, see the things under the rocks. Uh, I used to do that all the time. That was like my favorite thing. I grew up in New Hampshire and we had a bunch of granite because it's the granite state. And I was like freakishly strong when I was little so I could like lift up like these granite rock walkway rocks and I'd find all the bugs. Um, didn't find any watches there though. I don't know where I'm really going with this, by the way. What I'm trying to say is you gotta explore the vintage market and you will find some really cool vintage watches out there. And a lot of them will be from Waltham's various iterations. I've had a Waltham chronograph at the shop uh, and I have two very cool Waltham kind of dress watches. One's a day date, one is what they call their red arrow. Uh, just really cool watches. You know what, let's take a look at those right now. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of review slash history lesson on Waltham. I get a lot of questions. What are my favorite vintage watch manufacturers? Waltham is very high on the list. It's just unfortunate that people are using the name to make watches that really don't have anything to do with their history. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode, you had a laugh, maybe you enjoyed kind of following me along these weird tangents that I've been doing. I don't know, it's been a weird week, okay? Then please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on anything we're doing here. We're producing six pieces of content a week. A week, I'm breaking my back for you people. Please support us. But if you do want to support us, you want to go above and beyond then consider joining the channel membership we don't use patreon we get the majority of our channel support uh, that helps us make these six pieces of content a week from our youtube channel members you click the join button next to the subscribe button and it is four dollars 99 cents a month and again you get those six pieces of content a week and access to the members only discord chat it's like a private forum where all the channel members hang out we talk about the stock market food which is like my favorite thing ever Ever. weightlifting cars photography obviously we're I mean obviously there's some watch conversation in there but who cares about that everything else is what's really fun and uh, meeting a really diverse group of people we all come together for the love of watches so I would love to see you there but honestly guys the easiest way to support the channel is just to watch the content so thank you for being here check out the affiliate links in the description below and uh, check out my personal website www.thetimetellershop.com you can find some really cool vintage watches there all hand picked by me with a one-year warranty and uh, at the time of filming there are two really cool Walthams at the shop so don't miss out guys scoop them up all right guys please like comment and subscribe share this with everyone you know I'm Jory Goodman the time teller and always remember I didn't invent time I just tell it <laughs>
Yeah.